1961 was quite a year, wasn't it? 1961. And uh, we're going to see if we can pull a Roger Maris out of here. We're going to see if we can pull a big hit out of this break. Here we go, seven times through with some 1961 tops coming out of the break. <laughs> so we're going to randomize this list seven times. So here's the lucky number seven. And then we're going to randomize the teams as well and stack the list up side by side. That's how you get your team in the break. Randomly. Seven times for the teams. Eighty nine was a, a great year for rookies. That was King Griffey Jr.'s rookie, John Smoltz, Randy Johnson's rookie, eighty nine. Lucky number seven. 89 upper deck was the set of all sets. That was revolutionary when upper deck released its first product or its first baseball product at least. 89 upper deck baseball was solid all right so good luck everybody it's baseball car collecting it's come a long way since 1961 Good luck, John W. with Mandela Maris. Oh, certainly a great, great one to own the Yankees in. in this box break. But we've had uh, Harmon Killebrew. We've had Billy Williams. We've had all kinds of legends. But yeah, Yankees would have to be one of the most desirable teams. Good luck in this 1961 box break. Ho! 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 What is coming out of here? Tito Francona. In this one, there's not a hard case. Sometimes we'll open up the box and see a hard case. Not, not, that is not so this time around. Well, there is some nice 1961 cards here. They're going to get awarded. And here is a Francona. And Eddie Yost. Cubs Jib Brewer. LA Angels pitcher. Cleveland Indians pitcher and the final one of the break. Good luck, everyone. A Billy Muffet Red Sox. All right, so that's our box break in this 1961 Tops baseball. A lot of these were in pretty good condition. 
through the break. No Roger Bears this time. No Mickey Mantle this time. Not this time, guys, but we have a couple more boxes available of this. <laughs> 